You're in a rat hole. Yeah, we just beat that boss, and I'm, I'm actually going to go back to that bonfire and heal in a minute, but first... We're going to talk to this fellow. Covenant? This place yeah, Covenant. Yep. This, as I mentioned last time, this area is a Covenant area where people can force you to invade them, where they've trapped the whole thing. Right. And this is the Covenant guy. Okay. It is the Rat Covenant. It's a really fun Covenant. You can be a douchebag really easy in this Covenant. I quite like it. Um, I have a character that I've used... Uh, He's like a poison character. He uses all poison weapons and just tries to poison people. But this rat's kind of a dick, so... <laughs> so he wants me to surrender my soul to him. Right, to a rat. Uh, so no, I'm not. But Woody, you could be part of the rat pack. No, I don't want to be... I don't want to be a rat bro. But, yeah, it's obviously... It's pointless unless you actually want to be right. in this covenant, so... So wait, that is a dead, dead end, or...? Oh, uh, no, I'm going down further that way, but I'm going back to heal and okay. refresh all of my crap first. Oh, yeah, I have pyromancy now. I'm you do have that. pyromancy, and we're going to continue to escalate that, correct? Yes. So by the end of the game, you're just going to be a, a heat machine. So, yeah, I'm going to keep getting more pyromancy. Um, in all honesty, my s I could probably stand to upgrade this sword pretty soon. Um, with either a bunch of upgrade materials, or just get a new weapon. That was a big skeleton, by the way. Yeah, it was. Um, you may, you may make a connection to giant skeletons, because there was an area in Dark Souls called Tomb of the Giants. Right. Which featured giant skeletons. Mm-hmm. So, now we're, we're gonna keep going down. Okay. Uh, so yeah, so we're back to Brock. Um. We've been back to Brock. For a while, I think, actually. For right. a couple episodes But, now. you know, some people might not recall that. So, just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying, we're back to Brock. You know, it can, we can be three episodes into the Brock again and still say we're back to Brock. Anyway. I don't know if when what, we are recording this, if we are yet. So, anyway. My point is that uh, our other dude, which never really had a name, um, he's now beefed up because Woody figured out a better way to... <laughs> Uh, he's he's harder to play as, but he is dramatically more powerful. So, uh, this is the pit, by the way, that I fell down originally. If you have, like, some magical shenanigans and or um, a really long ladder from an NPC, you can actually just skip that area completely, and you'll come down here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what, what was his name? Laddersmith? Or Ladder Laddersmith Gilligan. Yeah. My life <laughs> is my ladder. No, he's actually, he's like a weird sort of, like, Scottish thief guy mm. who also happens to build ladders. It's, it's kind of, he's kind of a weird character. <laughs> Very particular trade. Dude. That is, yes. Okay, like, so I'm going to go with Fireball here. Um, I kind of doubt. Nah, you want to pick up the item that's over there? You can totally get it. Uh, no, I can't. Oh. I would have to run and jump from here, and it's not really something I need. It's a cool item, though, actually. It's a shield that doubles as a catalyst. Well, you, you should get that for your magic man. I have a better shield that does that for my magic man. Oh, okay. Well, see, you didn't say that. Woody. Okay, so these guys, um, explode. Right. So you gotta back away after you stab them? Oh, it's only when they're alive. Oh, yeah. No. Uh, this is actually kind of a hard section. Like, it's because you have to time this pretty exactly to get them when they are not going to jump on you and blow up. Mm -hmm. I see a lot of blood stains. Yeah, there's a lot of blood stains. Because these are the bad version of that enemy, because there's a version in uh, Lost Bastille that we fought before that explode and they keep exploding like they don't die. These guys are the suicide bomber version, where they just blow up. Which, it kills them, but they are also dramatically more powerful. And they seem to travel in larger numbers, too. What was that, like yeah. seven of them that came at you? So, no bueno. I like the little cat emblem under your stats. That is because I have the uh, cat ring on right now, which uh, I take decreased fall damage. Meow. Just like a cat. Yeah. Right. <laughs> if I beat an optional boss later, you can get an improved version of that that's actually a set of leg armor, and it's just cat legs. <laughs> like you get little furry feet and stuff. <laughs> you... Um, because the joke you get that um, and you get the cat pants. Cat pants from beating both of the Rat Covenant bosses. So I beat the one, and there's another Rat Covenant area later on. So could you call those like 
pussy jeans or <laughs> uh, it, it's, cat pants sounds better. Let's stick with cat pants, Woody. This is the, uh, these ladders here. <laughs> I have the potential to get down this section faster, like, by just hopping down, uh -huh. but this is one of those sections of the game that, like, that always seems like a very logical way to get through this area faster, and then I do it, and I always end up falling to my death. <laughs> it's kind of a cool little area. I like the whole jungle gym style thing. It's uh, actually got a cool uh, lore reason behind it, too. Can't go back, Woody. Well, except that you can warp at all the bonfires. Shh. No, see, I don't necessarily like that about a lot of the stuff in this game, because, see, you can't warp in the bonfires, uh, so it's a little harder. So, this is a cool kind of area. Yeah. The gutter. Remember Tomb of the Giants? Yes. It's a bit like that. It's a little bit on the dark side. Well, then, where's your uh, head crab lantern of light? Uh, I don't have one in this game, but we also have a persistent torch in this game. It's true. So, this game was originally supposed to have, like, a much more active fire system, where you would need to use the torch. Actually, let me check something. Okay, I could level up, but I'm not going to. Where, so it's right here. No, I have to remember, I have to oh, go back to the right, right. Talk about later. Where you originally had to use the torch in this game a lot more, because areas would be dark, but they changed the graphics right before release. Now, see... It's kind of a it's a it's an okay mechanic. I don't really think I would like it for the full game because you have your torch out, you have a timer for how long you have to use it before it runs out, mm -hmm. and then but then when you have a torch, you don't have a shield. Right. So it's like you know this is my block. I think it barely does anything. And this is kind of the area of the game where it shines through because uh, there's not much light here. And also, I'm kind of being cautious because they're like. See, like, those boards a few feet in front of me? Yeah. They kind of look different. If I step on those, I'll fall through. And there's a Land of the Giants ugly skin dog. So how do you uh, replenish are... replenish the timer on your torch? Just put uh, it out? You find more torches. Oh, okay. Also, the other fa uh, cool quote-unquote cool thing in this area, I am saying that ironically, is uh, those stupid... S oh, Okay, whew, that was close. That was an exploding guy. Uh, those statues uh, shoot poison. Mm -hmm. I noticed that, too. And uh, they stun you when they shoot you. And they can very easily mess you up. <laughs> Are those dogs too dumb to jump up? Uh, they can't. I wouldn't okay. say they're too dumb. They don't have the animations for it. Okay. So do you find torches just in chests, or are they also drops? Uh, drops in chests. Okay. They're like a uncommon drop, but a lot of stuff drops them, so... It's just you don't need it that often, it's not like... Yeah, you only really need it in this section of the game, mm -hmm. and in all honesty, I can get through this section without using it, because I know where I'm going. Yeah. Those dog things are not really hard to fight, but I just don't really have a good move set for fighting them right now, because this sword is slow enough that... Right. Be cumbersome. Whoa there. You've almost been poisoned. I almost have. But see, it's cool because see the sconces that I'm lighting? Yeah. Those stay lit forever. Forever. And then you can also light your torch at these sconces oh, that's in the future. Neat. And it's kind of like, in this area it's cool because it's almost like a waypoint system so you know where you've been and stuff. Mm -hmm. Battle on the bridge. So epic. I think there's a normal zombie coming catch, up behind boy, me. Catch, Catch! Yep. You're right. Get off that bridge, he's gonna tackle you. Because, yeah, like, this sword is um, kind of weak right now. It could easily be better. As far as, like, upgrading or just swapping it out for a different sword? Because it was good when we got it, but it uses a semi-rare upgrade material. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of hard to upgrade this where we are in the game right now. Yeah. And we're getting to the point where even though it was good, we're advancing past the point where it's remaining good. I gotta move on. Things aren't working out. Pretty much. Don't take it personal, sword. Whatever your name is, can't remember. Uh, the Drang Lyak sword. Drang Lyak. Drang... Like, See, this guy's being a dick, because I just want to run past him, but he's not going far enough off the bridge for me to do that. 
Really? What you <laughs> Just throw a fireball at him. Oh, I'm out. Oh. I have combustion, but that's close range. Uh, do it. Oh. Ooh. Pow! Zap! Smack! Ker chop. Ker stab. So yeah, that's the hard, that's probably like the hardest part of this area. Because yeah. the gutter actually does not have a boss fight. <laughs> no respectable oh, poo. No respectable boss would find himself in the gutter. Yeah, those are the explodey dudes. See, I wouldn't mind having that as a superpower. Exploding and remaining in shape? Yes. Because <laughs> it, it doesn't look like it harms them in any way. They'd well, that's where I want to go, but I'm really lost now. <laughs> but Woody, you got your torch to Okay, the actually... Way. That's actually a shortcut right there. There's like a bonfire about 30 feet away, straight ahead. But I have to manage to jump on that platform without getting knocked off by all those stupid poison statues. Oh, you can do it. Do it, Woody. Do it for the bragging rights. It'll be documented. Hot dang! Oh. <laughs> well, the good news is I can run through this area really fast. Now. Maybe you should have killed those things first. I can't from long range because right. they're not um, they're not technically enemies, so they don't take damage. You just have to hit them with a physical item. Oh. So I couldn't like take out a bow and shoot them or anything. Right, and you're all out of fireballs. Uh, that's not too far of a setback, although the annoying thing now is I actually need to go back there if I want all those souls I just lost. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, light the torch. And yeah, like I said, it's you have like a torch meter, but this is pretty much the only section of the game where it's really necessary. Those are all lit, why do you need the torch still? Why not just get out your shield? Oh, you should have got your shield out before you jumped over. You could have had your shield up, right? Or would the poisonous spit still hurt you, even with the shield raised? It hurts you even with the shield raised. Poor shield. Hurts me more than it hurts you. So what do you think this place was before it went to crap? Actually, that is part of the lore. Because remember that scaffolding um, up at the top that said, oh, you're going down yeah, and yeah. there's no way back up? Uh, all of the guys in this place were banished here and may have been trying to escape by building up from the bottom. Oh. When, but now they've all gone crazy. Yep. <laughs> the general Dark Souls malaise of craziness. Mm -hmm. I was going to be X, but then I went crazy. Because Pretty much. Because I died too much. Because I died too much and went insane, and now I'm hollow. Technically, shouldn't you only have a finite number of deaths before you can no longer complete the game? Because your character would just go insane also? No, because No, because it's kind of a cool thing that ties into the player, because hollows only go insane when they lose their mission... Like, you have to have a purpose, and as long as you have that purpose to keep going right. for... Well, if their purpose was to get out... You keep going. Well, yeah, because these guys eventually, that are trying to get out, eventually lose hope. Oh, uh, their will is broken. Pretty much, yeah. Okay, but not Brock. And that's why, like, certain characters, um, like Solaire, remember, um, because he, like, spent that whole... Ooh, that was a bad luck on... Should be easier Solaire lost his hope, and that's why he got the Yeah, because Solaire... Yeah, Solaire basically got depressed that he couldn't find his son. There's, another, there's a stupid one of those exploding guys behind him. I think the reason I didn't run into that guy before was because he fell down. <laughs> yeah, they don't ball. have a lot of health. <laughs> okay, I want my souls back. But I don't really want to... F okay, well, never mind. <laughs> I like how those things don't react to you until you're already over there. Yeah. Dick move. Okay, you know what? That actually might be the only way to go. From what here. What if you just use I think a this is a dead end. bun? Or use your magical feather to go back to the bonfire and then... I don't have the magical feather on this guy. That was Magic Man. Oh. Okay, because I'm not seeing, like, a ladder or anything. No. Uh, yeah. I think... Uh, you think I your just... hair would be bright enough to light your way? <laughs> My hair is not luminous enough. He looks like an undead Waluigi. Like, 
with that mustache. Um, and I don't really have... Yeah, because I have a bow, but that's not... Well, you said they don't really have enough. health. You just have to hit them, right? Yeah. Well, hit them. Hit that statue. Oh, that's nice. Woody. Oh, snap. Look at him See, go. I made it. I destroyed all those dumb statues. Now well I just done. have to not fall off this ledge. And here we are. Bonfire. Oh, uh, you're still dying. Oh, never mind. Here. Yeah, okay. Now I'm all healed up. <laughs> the magic of bonfires. Like the Souls series? Well, we have a lot of Souls-related content here on Video Attack. We have an ongoing crit play for Dark Souls 2, which is basically like a really, really long review discussing the positives and negatives of Dark Souls 2 along with Kai. We've also got a full Let's Play for the original Dark Souls, where Chicho goes into the game blind and uses my advice to get through the game. As a result of that, we've got plenty of death montages of every single death that Chicho had to suffer through throughout the game.